on column. A column can be defined as a vertical structural member designed to transmit a compressive load. A column transmits the load from ceiling or roof slab and beam, including its own weight to the foundation. There are few types of columns can be found in our surroundings. Uh, stone, stone column. Stone column help to limit the amount and consequences of future liquefaction by densifying the soil through vibration and introducing stone into the soil. Uh, cast, stone, cast stone columns can equally be used for interiors and more cost effective than the natural stone equivalent. GFRC. GFRC columns is uh, glass fiber reinforced concrete column. Uh, it is lightweight and much simpler to install. Last, foam polyvinyl chloride. FPVC. F FPVC columns are rigid, lightweight, uh, durable, and weatherproof. It is also ideal for a variety of indoor and outdoor applications because it is dent and scratch resistance. Uh, reinforce. Next, I will explain on reinforced concrete columns. A reinforced concrete column can be defined as a structural member with a steel frame reinforcement bus composed of concrete that is being designed to carry compressive loads. And the spider column, the first one is the round spider column. Round spider column are cylindrical column with a continuous helical bar wrapping around the column. The spider act to provide the support in the transverse direction and prevent the column from barreling. The second one is rectangular tight column. Rectangular tight column have closed lateral tight space approximately and formally across the column. The spacing of the tight is limited in that they must be close enough to prevent barreling failure between them and far enough part apart that they do not interfere with the setting of the concrete. We will focusing on roof beam. Mainly, roof beam is any length of wood, steel, or aluminium. The type of the beam will depend on the size and the shape of the roof, and how much weight the roof is required to hold. We have few types of beam, which is wood, steel, aluminium, and new type is the composite beam. So every type will have a different function. For example, steel. Steel is mostly for larger structures such as skyscrapers. And for the composite beam, it is focusing on extremely small structure. Um, the composite beam, the character of composite beam is lightweight and that that's why it doesn't suitable for the larger structure. First is a simply supported beam. As we can see, it is supported by two lots and it is simply supported. Hence, it is a simply supported beam. Next one is the candy level beam. As we can see, it is fixed at one end and left free at another end. So it is called as cantilever beam. Next one is a whole overhanging beam. As we can see, two lots are acting almost the center of the beam. Two ends of the beam are free. And the next one is the continuous beam. The lots are acting continuously in different directions. So it's called a continuous beam. And the last one is the fixed beam. It is known as a fixed beam because it is fixed in both sides. I'm going to tell you about the function of beam. 
So basically the function of beam is to transfer the load of the building to wall or column horizontally. And next I'm going to show you a type of beam based on shape. First is T beam. Next one is I beam. The next one is C beam. This type of beam based on material. Firstly, uh, it is made out of steel. The advantages of using steel beam is it has high strength, cheaper compared to metal uh, from aluminium or titanium, and it is made easy to maintain its strength, and it also can be recycled. But for the disadvantages is it's a fireproofing cost as it is made of incombustible material, very small resistance against fire as compared to concrete and energy intensive to produce. Next, we move to timber. For timber beam, uh, the, the advantages is uh, it can help to reduce cost to certain extent, highly durable and can last for many years. But the disadvantages is it has tendency to spill over a period of time and it also has a lot of difficult to handle by one person and it is susceptible for rot and attack by terminate, termite. Lastly, for the concrete beam, uh, the advantages is low cost, high compressive strength, uh, easy maintenance and lower maintenance cost, and lastly, better resistant against fire. The advantages is uh, lower safety, lower tensile strength and larger area is occupied. Here we see the plan of the building. Okay, here is the measurement of the beam in mm unit. Okay, here is the short form of the high tensile steel, which is two steel with high tensile and twelve, 12 diameter. And this is length. So this is the cross section of this uh, link. You can see that there are four enforcement bar in here and so, so.